I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding. Okay, my friends and family, I have a word today to bring back to your remembrance. I know that right now there is uncertainty and turmoil and chaos. But remember, our Father who is in heaven has us under control. I pray his will be done in his perfect timing. War is upon you as the man of perdition awaits his role. My bride, look up. I am reading a message from our sister Julie Wedby from I am calling you now .com. I wish to bring this to your remembrance. It was released first on March 21st, 2018. I'm sure all of you who are seeking father with all you have, the weariness and challenges of life can be quite overwhelming at times. We all know that he is coming for us soon, but the wait for him is stretching many of us beyond what we believe we can handle. In my prayer time the last few days, I have been asking Yahushua to please give his remnant the encouragement we need to fill us with his peace and joy despite all now that is happening all around us. This is what he so graciously shared with me in my prayer time this morning. I pray you are greatly encouraged and blessed by his incredible love for all of us. I am the light of the world. I am the savior of all mankind. I am he who has no beginning and has no end. I am he who bore your sins on the cross on my body so that you might be free. I am your redeemer, your king, your soon coming bridegroom and your friend. My beloved bride, my heart is always joined to you, and I thank you for accepting my offer to share the sorrows of my heart. I see every struggle, every tear, and I am overseeing every minute detail of your lives, as you are doing all you can to stay on my narrow path, the way of holiness. I know the weariness of my people in the darkness that intensifies, as I too am weary of sin and its never-ending road to destruction. For those who have not accepted my sacrifice for them, in order that they be brought to the light. For those of you who earnestly seek me in all that you say and do, you know of this urgency that I have, that all would come into the fold. There are many sheep who have gone astray, and your unified prayers in me are so very powerful, and many hearts will be convicted because of the work you are doing in the Spirit. Do not underestimate these prayers and the outcome of your obedience to me, despite how weary that you have become. Truly I tell you, all things in the natural are unraveling. The closer my return, everything and anything that is not in alignment with me is being shaken, and a very clear and precise line of separation is being made. No longer will those walking with one foot in this world and one foot in the kingdom be permitted to stand. The very nearness of my coming and the absolute lateness of the hour demands that every soul must choose. The earth is about to be plunged into war and chaos, as the words of my book continue to be fulfilled. War is inevitable, and your lives will change greatly. You must continue to pray for that great faith that was purposed for you, so that you might endure. I will also use your faith to encourage those around you, as they will see my truths manifesting directly in front of them. Beloved bride, the man of perdition arises. He's on the scene and preparing for his role to rule the world. For the moment he remains veiled, but I tell you, it will not be much longer before we all know of his identity, and he will publicly arise to his position. This in itself should reveal to you the season that you are in. The stage is set, and all continues to fall into place. It was always darkest before the dawn, and just as it was for me in the Garden of Gethsemane, when all the forces of darkness thrust themselves at me to discourage me, so too now, my set-apart ones, they seek, to see, they seek to do the same to you. They attempt to cause you to become so weary and discouraged and beaten down that you struggle even at times to pray. It is in this last stretch, my loves, that you must come even closer to my heart. Come and allow me to embrace you, console you, and comfort you. As my Father sent comfort to me in my hour of need, in order that I can endure to the end. You will not be able to do this in your own strength, so do not attempt to do so. This battle is spiritual, as you know, 
not a battle of flesh and blood. Therefore, it can only be fought one way. Claim my sacrifice and its victory over death, and the victory it has won over your lives, and the lives of your loved ones, and claim its power in that I defeated all darkness once that day on Calvary. It is done. Always remember to walk in this victory, profess professing it boldly and out loud with great authority, which has been given to you from on high. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you, my remnant, are about to glorify me in your lives in ways you cannot even imagine. Trust in my design for everything you see happening, although to those who still walk in the darkness it appears that all is lost. You, my chosen, though, have my heart living and operating through you, and therefore these final days for you will afford a completely different reality than what is playing out in the natural. While the events and judgments continue to come at what will seem like lightning speed, you will only know my complete peace, joy, and unconditional love. For all those I will bring to you, to minister to you, until I bring you home. Enter into my great rest in this hour of trial that has now begun on the earth, for you know this means your redemption draws nigh. Do not be as those who despair, not seeing a way out, for I have made the way and I have lit your pass. Nothing can stop now, all I have caused to begin the end of man's way and the restoration of all things. I wish for this great news to bring you such joy as I am bringing about the culmination of all things. For those who love me will know no more pain, no more suffering, no more death, and no more tears. For I, the Eternal One, who is forever alive and perfect, am making all things new. Rejoice and be glad that I have made a way for you and have gone to my Father to prepare a mansion for you. I have made a way when there was no way. I have given all for you. I have called you and anointed you. You are my friends and co-heirs to my kingdom. Enter into my joy, for you know this world holds nothing for you, as it held nothing for me. You are not of this world, as I was not of this world. Your journey here is almost complete. Be comforted, my loves. I am showering you with my love and my grace which is always enough. Truly all of heaven awaits your homecoming and your joy will be never ending. Jesus Christ, Yahushua. I give glory to God in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise. And I pray for each and every one of you to not get caught up in these worldly events. To not get caught up in the theater you see playing out before you, but trust and have faith in our risen King and Savior. Make sure that you are growing closer to him, that you are praying to him. Make sure that you ask him what you need to do in these final moments to prepare, whether he would have you, what he would have you do. Make sure you do not get so distracted that you do not spend time with him in his word and pray to him. Make sure that all these worldly events that are sent against you do not take your peace and joy. Make sure they do not take your faith. As you spend time with him in prayer, he will give you his strength to overcome. He will lift you up. Speak life into your situations. Use his word as your sword of truth in all things. I pray for each and every one of you. I pray that Father God in heaven would place his holy fire hedge of protection round about you on all sides, around about you and your family, far above you and far below you. I pray he would cover you with his hedge of protection that none may cross. I pray that he would give his angels charge over you and that he would wash you clean with the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. I pray that he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, your schools, and their daily activities. I pray all this to my Father in the name of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray this to him, and I know that he hears my prayers. 
I thank you, God, for all that you do for me and my family and my loved ones and my brethren. You are still the God of miracles. I pray that you call out to him this day so that he can lift you up and strengthen you. Do not fall for the division that is being cast upon our nation. Do not fall for the chaos. Instead, fall on your knees in prayer. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord God. Amen.